Alrighty lads, welcome back to another episode of my Ohm playthrough here where the mighty Ohm has fully, I would say, taken the mantle of its its rightful place as one of the most powerful nations in the world. And we have ridiculously good diplomacy, also cheeky, cheeky diplomacy, being allied to the Ottomans here. Um, but by becoming one of the most powerful nations in the world, I mean the fact that we are rank 8 in score and rank 4 in great powers. Apparently, only the Ottoman Spain and Ming being superior to us. I'm definitely feeling strong, in particular with our economy. Production bumping up by leaps and bounds, guys. I mean, I think in the last episode alone... By stating up provinces, building manufactories, etc. It went up about five ducats here. Gaining a tremendous amount of money. And our manpower is beginning to do fairly well as well. But enough about that. We integrated uh, the Mecklenburg last episode. And I'm actually going to delete these here. I don't want to make use of those just yet. And this episode, I'm going to be marching off into Hungary. And trying to actually exile my troops here, as our next war is going to be against Novgorod, as our truce just came up, literally just came up. And I'm going to attempt to vassalize him and eventually go in against the Muscovites after that. Things are going to begin to get very intense here, guys, as we snowball. We're kind of committing to fighting all of Europe as a coalition. Naturally, Great Britain being at zero aggressive expansion here, the fact that we have 20% reduced, and the fact that we're not going to be fighting any Anglicans, he's going to be kind of the last nation to hate us, and Spain and the Ottomans are kind of creating a buffer with nations like Portugal, but... uh. Yeah, I'm going to be focusing on Central Italians as allies in the meantime. And basically, it's going to be us versus the rest of Europe. It's kind of inevitable at this rate. So, let's walk off into Hungary here. But of course, we've got some time. We do have a crazy... Oh my goodness, I have to take Brandenburg. I didn't realize our truce is up right now. I have to attack Brandenburg. Things just got a little bit more intense. I'm not sure what to do with my military points. Ah, oh, the burgers aren't happy. All right, let's go ahead and add a province like that to the burgers. Just spend some militia points in the meantime. Will help us keep our manpower up. Yeah, man, things just got a little bit more intense, guys. I didn't realize our truce was up with Brandenburg. The thing is, if I don't attack him, he's going to join the coalition. It might be too late because I sent a, a, a dude there. Shoot. I'm going to try to attack him if he doesn't join the coalition. And then we, we also need to take out Novgorod before uh, the Muscovites do. I want to improve relations with the Papal State as I hope to ally him here. Don't join it, Muscovy, uh, Brandenburg. Don't join it, don't join it, don't join it. Alright, nice. The good news is we just officially pulled Denmark. I forgot about my light ships. God dang it. And they're dead. They're so dead. We just pulled Denmark out of the coalition. 
because we're at war with them. That's the bad news. So we can see that we're pre pretty comparable in strength. Man, I gotta take out these. Ah, oh, yeah. Shoot, man. I don't think we're gonna get Novgorod, guys. I think Muscovy is gonna fully annex them. But I feel like I have to do this. This is the obvious play. I wish I was more well prepared for it. I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. I had my mind on other things. He hired troops. <laughs> Ugh, the bastardo. Alright, so I can take up ahead of Denmark. Nice, we got a discipline advisor. Let's grab that. Excellent. That's a significant boon to our army strength. Please stack wipe them. Yes. All right. I want to prevent Brandenburg from reinforcing so that we don't have to deal with his number one, his quality of troops and also his general there. So let's sit on him really quick. I'm kind of wealthy enough to take Defender of the Faith here quite easily, guys. So let's have a look at Protestants. Is there anybody who's a liability to being attacked? Not really. It's not like France or GB are going to attack one of these Protestants. Yeah, I think we're safe to do it. The main appeal is the prestige not diminishing so quickly and the um, war exhaustion. But the morale helps. The fact that our war exhaustion will deplete a bit while we're at war is definitely something nice for sure. Okay, now... I want to be able to actually artillery barrage these. To, we've got tons of military points right now. We're far ahead. And I want this to move along as smoothly as possible. Oh, I've got too many leaders because of our navy, navy leader, I guess, that I rolled. Uh, that's right. I'll get rid of this one. Become barraged. Get barraged upon. Barraged to fight. Lucky we didn't lose our navy here. Classic. Classic. Uh, extreme budget monk maneuver there. Extreme standard maneuver. We set the bar really high at forgetting about our navy over here on the budget monk channel. Let's take that for negative five. We set the bar up well above and beyond every other content provider, I would say, at forgetting to use our navy when we go to war and just watching it die and feeling sorry for ourselves. That's pretty much our, our flagship. Oh, 15 years, morals of armies. Okay, I'm going to take that, but there's no reason taking it right now. Just maybe take it when I'm about to make an engagement or something like that. So Curlin doesn't appear to have a navy. But he doesn't have debt anymore. Interesting. I did notice that he, he was always poor. Maybe his navy got instigimped. I'm not sure. Um... He was always poor, but he's... It might have something to do with him changing to Curland. They do seem to have something trade related. Yeah, trade power, broad production efficiency. I don't know. He doesn't really have any workshops or anything. A little bit. Anyway, regardless, um, he doesn't have debt right now, which he has had for a long time. So that's a little bit uh, interesting. Considering it's mostly mercenaries there and not manpower or anything like that, it's just money. I'm gonna go ahead and is Brabant in the coalition? Yes, he is. Okay. So wondering if we could attack him there and uh, bring him and his allies out of the potential coalition. Now I'm gonna really enjoy taking both Dresden and Berlin for multiple reasons, but one is because of the uh, fort locations. Let's actually delete this fort. 
Thoughts in the Woods, and I like I like that. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult for nations to walk past at all, like Bohemia, that we're going to be fighting here in the future. By the way, my spy network is doing like nothing in Bohemia, and I have this as well. That's bad. I'm not going to have a single claim against him, it looks like, when our truce comes up, and he's just going to... It's coming up this year. Why bother? God dang it. He must be counter-espionaging or something like that. He must be. Uh, okay, the Papal State's happy with us. That's good. So I guess... Pff, crap. I really didn't expect that. I was fabricating him for so long. I, don't e I won't even have a claim against him. Well, that's not part of the plan, guys. That's pretty depressing, honestly. That's pretty depressing. The coalition is going to grow and we're just going to be sitting there like, uh... Please die? Please win. We win. Really looking forward to our next idea group, which is not at this admin tech, but the admin tech after that. So, how likely is it that we can separate base Denmark? It's gonna... Ideally, we want to null his alliance with France, but... Uh, it's gonna be painful to get to that point. At this rate, it looks like. Finally, we can get rid of these Terrarian rebels who have been sitting on our land forever. Nice. 0 0.5, 0 0.15 workshop in Magdeburg. We should upgrade these. I'll try to remember that when we're at peace. Yep, Novgorod's dying. I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad. The solution will be to attack Muscovy with, like, a claim and release Novgorod, but I'm sad. Let's put it that way. Muscovy will probably eliminate some of the Novgorodian cores. There's the truce coming up with Bohemia and, I don't know, our spy network doesn't even progress at all. 0 0.21. Yo, what can you do, man? What can you do? We don't have a CV. I hate myself right now. Stupid game. That's why I go religious every game of my life. It's like the CB above everything. I just love it. I, I really don't know what to do about that, guys. That feels bad, man. Because he's going to jump into the coalition, so... Yeah. We don't have... Yeah, I don't know. I really, really don't know. I'm not just saying that. I don't know what to do about that. That's really annoying. I plan to have at least one CB against him so that as soon as we wrap up this war... I mean, at least one. I thought we could definitely take a few of his provinces, but... Whatever. If we jump in here, are we strong enough, guys, to defeat that? I've only got three shock. We will tech him. He currently doesn't even have a general, so... Norway's general's bad. We might lose this. Oh. Oh, okay. Norway's really behind in military. Okay, we might win. <laughs> we might win, yep. Oh, stickity stack wiped. Stickity stack wipe him. Get stacked. Get stacked. Feels good, man. Denmark's Denmark's general's bad. Oh mate. Bohemia joins. We are the we we we're, we're, we're Germans. We're Germans, boys. We're definitely Germans. I can feel it in my blood. Just ripping people to pieces like it's no big deal. That's a problem.
I don't want him to exist. He is also a German. And he may or may not be a slightly more of a badass than we are. So I'd really like to get rid of him and prevent him from actually having any possibility to recruit or utilize his swag in general there so that we don't have to deal with it. I wonder if Novgorod will survive. Like, will Muscovy take all of these without claims? My, my guess is yes. And then after that, my thought is... Oh, this is a good way to get the coalition diminished. Curland, can you please, please make a claim for once in your life? What? He has a claim. Why did I not see it? I did. For some reason, I saw trade dispute. Okay, awesome. This is a move we can make. This is definitely a move we can make, and that's going to pull each of these nations out of the coalition. Excellent. That's something we can do. That, that's significant, guys. It will diminish the coalition significantly. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I spotted that. Great, great, great. He finally did make a claim right when we needed him to. Oh, my goodness. The stickity stack wipes, boys. Feels a maze, man. Now, we still have that little... Those Prussians walking about, which I prefer was not the case, but... There you go. See, our spy networks are terrible. I did something, didn't I? There's something I'm not aware of. My spy network efficiency is dismal. I did something to it, but I'm just noobing it up right now. I don't know. It was it was one of the events, one of the options we chose. Um, my spy network is dismal right now, but hopefully that will go away eventually. Uh, I don't really know what to do with my diplomats. Looks like we can acquire the the Pathy. So, just for observation's sake, I guess let's chuck it down in Bohemia. That's where I want it. I mean, we won't be able to make a an claim eventually at this rate. Alright, this is what we're hoping for. Denmark just doesn't give an F at all that we've taken a fort from him. But it will help to get this fort back. Uh, yeah, war exhaustion will be significant. So France, it's France here. Are you mad France? Are you Hayden? We look like we're in the clear. Damn, dude, look at that aggressive expansion. That's crazy. That's madness. Try to buff Austria up. He is buffed up. He's as high as he's going to get. I mean, that amount of aggressive expansion, guys, Austria might drop. It might hurt us enough that he drops below negative 10, breaks relations, because he gets a negative 1,000 modifier for being negative 10, negative relations. And then, um, boom, jumps into the coalition. Well, he's, we'll have a truce, but yeah, yep. And then it will basically be us versus all of Europe. But at that stage, oh, these stupid events. I would kind of want the coalition to, um, to trigger. At that point, I'd want the coalition to trigger. Because it's easier defensively with the Ottomans on our side. Get barraged. Alright, if we can catch these Danish troops. No! Why? Thankfully, we're so strong for some reason. Feeling really, really strong. Feels good, man. No! Composition is whack here, but I'm gonna go... Anyway. Alright. Manpower's pretty good. Get rid of both of those and go for discipline. 
and prestige combined with the defender of the faith guys oh look at that boys 82 prestige and we're not losing we're actually gaining slowly now did this event give us prestige no it didn't all right anyway i highly doubt that we're gonna stack wipe them here but it's because our infantry is not here but i want to um do my best at like combating that because it will ruin his enthusiasm I don't know. Maybe I should have just stack wiped the 2k that was there. I'm not going to mount a siege. I'll sell back. That's annoying. It should flip back, maybe? I don't know. I think I, it should flip back because of the, the fort, but I'm not sure if he blockades it. Maybe it doesn't. I know that, um... If the Ottomans hold the Dern and you occupy this, if you're blocking the straight, it won't flip back. But I'm not sure if, if you own this and they took a Dern, if you were blocking the straight, would it flip back? I'm not sure. We're about to find out over here. Yeah, he took all he took all of Novgorod. <sighs> It would help if he wasn't guaranteeing Lithuania. He always does that. Guarantees the nation that he should just be gobbling up. Because I'd be happy to attack Lithuania and vassalize them. But their war score cost is too high. We're about to find out. Does it flip back when they're blockading it? No, it doesn't. They keep it with the blockades. That's interesting. All right, let's go for some of the Swedish land. This is what I want, yes. Can we catch him though? That's the real question, can we catch him? We don't even have the war score to separate peace him with France, guys, to annul his alliance with France. So we need to go take some of the Swedish territory. I seem to remember something that I wanted to do with my money, but I've forgotten because I'm dumb. Ah, yes, it was without these, but I need to be at peace. All right, let's get this uh, in Hanover. Manufactories, boys. That production going up and up and up. It's our highest source of income. As it happens. Trying to avoid so much uh, attrition here. Technology costs 5%, not bad. I mean, as long as it's a positive trait, I'm happy. That was a stack wipe. Three shock, one shock. There's no way we stack wipe such a powerful stack, but I hope somehow by some miracle we do. I mean, we out tick them. We've got better general. Yep. We've got a lot going for us, but I just don't believe... We've got a lot going for us. We're going to crush him, but I just don't believe we have what it takes to stack wipe that. Okay. 633, he's starting to get really nice, so we're going to keep jamming this, guys. We're going to keep jamming this. Just stay alive, guy. Just stay alive. You are our chosen one. Don't you understand? You are our chosen one. Just stay alive. To another election cycle and uh become the dicto totino look at it look at it norway's coming in with oh he's got a three shock general never mind i was going to say with the terrible general which is going to reduce his military attack even more but maybe it's worth it if he has got a three shock either way we're just ripping him but it's just not enough yeah yep stupid three shock general coming in to uh 
alleviate the situation just a tad. Okay, we're just kind of slow rolling this guy. Now, Brandenburg is going to uh, resiege this stuff. Dude, it's like the early morning here, guys. And my cat just like jumped up next to my window outside and it just like glared through. But it's one of those things where like, I mean, it's just my cat, but you see the movement outside. It was weird. <laughs> like I'm a, I'm a pretty, uh, I, I don't know why it comes from gaming. I think actually I've got like, uh, it comes from the perfect storm of gaming and uh, cooking actually being a chef, like working my ass off, I think. But like, I have really crazy reflexes in the sense that like, I don't get afraid or anything. I don't get frightened. I just deal with stuff like instantly. It even scares me. It's really weird. Like, because it's hard to explain. It sounds arrogant if I say it, but I mean, it It would, I, I just wake up tomorrow. It's the zombie apocalypse. It's the end of the world. It's World War Three. And I just wouldn't even hesitate, guys. I'd just be like, okay, sweet. World War Three, no big deal. And I just... Like, I'm not saying that's what I want, but I'm saying that they, I would just have, like, no reaction. I'd just be, like, standard, standard, typical. World War Three saw that coming. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm just saying that was weird because my cat, I'm just telling you, it was the freakiest thing ever. It just freaked me out, but I'm also, like, emotionless at the same time. So, yeah. Thought it was worth saying. You had to be there, lads. If you were there. Stupid cat. Look at this aggressive expansion, but it's it's time. It's definitely time that we go ham. It's probably not time, honestly. We're probably going to die, but just saying. We have to complete this first. Again, I know I don't feel comfortable with that, because believe it or not, I am relatively humble guys i always joke about how i'm literally the best and so on and also a humble guy but i am relatively humble and some people who don't know me they don't know that about me if they like i, I scare the crap out of people like my mother i remember years ago i was at my mother's house i actually stayed and i was going to get up and i was going to walk the dog early in the morning before i went to work because everybody neglects the family dog and uh, this massive tree comes down. And it sounds like a, like, I don't know how to explain it, like an earthquake in the middle of the night. And, like, it's the middle of the night, tree comes down, like, sounds like lightning strikes, like, just outside the house. Because it's literally our tree on our property, this huge... I'm losing the... It's like manuka but um yeah it is manuka it's a manuka tree but i think it's a native to new zealand so you guys won't know what i'm talking about anyway but this huge tree comes down and uh i'm just like oh what was that like i don't know probably just got bombed like just get up and my mother wakes up and she's freaked out right but then she freaks out with the fact that i'm not freaked out like it happens it happens all the time it happens in the kitchen when you work with noobs they you worry them more that you're just like emotionless. It's just like, oh, that that was like, who knows? Like, I'm gonna have to open the window for my cat, guys. Ten seconds. Come inside. And now my cat's gonna meow because it's gonna want me to open the door to my room because my room is just a it's just a subway station for my cat. Yeah, but I think that's also why I have like silver streaks in my hair, guys, when I'm I'm not even 30 yet, but I'm going gray. I think because a part of me inside of my somewhere, oh, I have to open the door for my cat, guys. One second. Somewhere deep inside of my soul, 
my uh, like my body is just screaming it's like i'm so scared don't you understand do you know what i mean because <laughs> it's just like i'm not scared of like anything ever all right this is pretty painful walking around scandinavia and you know what's going to happen we're going to run into all of his troops around here but at least because all of our infantry is mercenaries, we're circumventing the most painful thing of all when just about every other time I've been in this circumstance, and that's we're not suffering an outrageous amount of attrition. Well, manpower. Attrition that's affecting our manpower to be more precise so truce came up with the palatinate and i guess i should maybe should have gone in against him but i don't know at this stage is i don't even know it seems like i can probably piece out brandenburg yep but I think it's worth it to push on. It's going to be rough though. You know, we could probably accumulate everything and just drop Stockholm quickly. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'll tell your barge and just break it. Maybe at that point that's enough to get us out of the war. I think it's worth pushing on to annul the Denmark-French alliance because that's obnoxious. I don't like it at all. Let's upgrade some of our fleet here. Why not? Yeah, tell me in the comments. Uh, can some of you guys relate to what I'm saying? Like, if something startles me, like, first of all, like, jump scares and things like that, like, I feel discomfort, but I'm not, like, I'm not going to cry out or anything like that. No way. Um, but if something really catches me off, startles me, I don't jump. But, like, I jump inside, first of all. But then I'm just, oh, like, I do jump. I have a response, but it's inside. Like, I don't, it's never significant enough for me to be, like, like, I'll never, like, throw something I'm holding or something. Like, I see people freak out like that. I, it's much lesser of a thing. But then, um, nice, some military points here. Uh, also, I'm just over it immediately. Like, it's it's so hard to explain, because it seems like people are not like that, but it's like it's over before it even happened. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I'm an animal. That's how my dog behaves. Like, have you ever hurt your dog by mistake and you feel so bad? Like, they'll yelp, and then you're sitting there, like, dwelling on it. Like, oh, I'm sorry, like, are you okay? And it's just like, dude. What are you even talking about? Like, that's a thing of the past. <laughs> that's how I feel when, like, people, people are all scared of something that I'm just like, what? It's no big deal. It's over. Nice. Stockholm's down. Are we done? So I can stop rambling? Yay. We are done. Annulled his alliance with France. Beautiful. Hopefully weakened him in that regard. Excellent. Now, here's kind of the moment of truth, guys. The painful moment of truth. Where we take almost a hundred aggressive expansion with Catholics. Dum dum dum. Now, I want to check my relations with Austria. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it's done. Austria's mad. It's ogre. Austria cancels his alliance with us. I could have thrown, like, hundreds of ducats at him to influence him. And that would have bumped his relations up, but I'm kind of embracing the inevitable at this point.
Bohemia make, announces us as their rival. I'd love to re rival him back. He actually wasn't an option last time. I had a rival choice. Uh, nice. So I'm much preferring our... Damn it. I was hoping these were defecting rebels. Much preferring our uh, forts now. That's appropriate for the upcoming European wars. Now, this cash, there we go, that's what it's going to do. One more piece. Upgrade Arena. Upgrade Arena. That's 400. So, the next move here. Hopefully, let's do this before we end the episode. Uh, we're going to move into position and fight this, this trade leak. That's what I want to do next. So, that will pull those nations out of the coalition. And uh, Riga, yeah, I mean, Riga's Riga. What can you say? Uh, I need to own it, guys, because we will fully accept Prussia once we get Empire Government rank. And Kirtland probably won't. Wow. Nice little modifier there for 10 years. That unrest is appropriate. Without a doubt. Our unrest is so good. It's so good, dude. We conquer land and it's so low that they don't progress very far and then given time even we've got one portal in 69 over extension guys and it's they just give up they're just like eh, forget about it you're cool but naturally they are germans we are almost entirely well i think we have entirely conquered germans we have the odd problems like this obviously but my point is we're so stable this is awesome it's a luxury that i often uh, don't have Venice and the Coalition, all right. Um, we maintained Austria somehow. That's really interesting. So Italy is looking really friendly with us, which I like a lot. Okay, that's a nice old school stack wipe here. So I can take military points and diplo points. We need to strengthen the burgers, though. Oh, are you serious? Is there any other um, significant provinces that we own? I don't think so. Berlin, but it, it's not... Okay, have we done Frankfurt and Mainz? I think we have. Yep, all right, let's just put it in the most, like that low influential region to take that 150 there. Military points, we're so far ahead, I'm going to hold off until we take that next uh, quality idea. Once we take quality ideas... Try to rush that down there. Somehow we're maintaining Austria. Okay, cool. I didn't expect that. That's exciting. I should have just done that. I'm dumb. All right, who needs mercantilism anyway? That's sad, but I, I if we lost 20 loyalty, I don't have anything to bump it up, and they own a lot of our land, that would have become uh, a serious problem, like a, a continual problem going into the future. So that's why we lost three mercantilism there, which we could promote if we um, get a lot of Diplo. Right, there's no enemies nearby. I like that cannon sound, by the way. So let's be a little bit less reckless here. Stop suffering so much attrition. But I think separate piecing is the way to go here with these nations. 
Curl and allowing his capital to be sieged down again, which is quite annoying. Forces are very comparable here, so the coalition might feel emboldened. But, um, damn, our diplomacy is good, dude. Diplomacy is real Judd. Austria is far too rich and powerful to be guaranteed. What's Curlin's tech? He's at 11. 11 tech, so he's he's really bad. Uh, check it out. He's got a Lithuanian dynasty leader. Maybe I should influence him. It's only 52. Let's do it. Try to improve Kurland a little bit there. It's only 52 ducats. That's, that's nothing for us. Chump change. So our relations are maxed with Austria. Wow. Wow. Like I keep saying, it, it is definitely inevitable that we lose him as a uh, friend, isn't it, guys? I was hoping, actually, that this war would not kind of be so difficult. It seems like it's going to be a little bit m longer than I, I had first anticipated. Because uh, I was hoping to just smash it out here before the end of this episode, but at this rate, it might not be the case. Alright, let's separate these, these guys to eliminate their troops. Bremen we stack wiped. Steer trade is what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steer trade. So they send it to our trading regions. That will improve our trade, especially if we do the same thing with Lebec. Now, Lebec is not a free city, so once my truce is up with him, in fact, yeah, I might go for a short truce with Lebec and then attack him directly. That would be a good nation to attack directly and, and just take it in the future. How reckless can we be with our military points? Maybe not too reckless. Liege is jumping in, everybody. Everybody's jumping in. I guess Brandenburg was far away enough from France that he didn't really care about that 100 aggressive expansion. Damn, dude, we're fabricating so slowly. Zero point one three in alt mark. Let's do that. Global trade is the next to spawn, guys. It looks like we're gonna really struggle to have much of the English Channel, let alone London. So I doubt. I don't know. Maybe we could pull it off if we made it our mission. I don't think anybody would help us against GB, so it, it, it would be really hard, for sure. He's stronger than us, significantly stronger than us, let alone the Navy. Yeah, he's stronger than us. But uh, we did diminish the coalition a little bit here. No doubt about that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow this war to wrap up next episode, guys. There's no doubt in my mind that we have won it, but we need to actually go and, you know, finish the job. And I don't want to just throw military points, actually, in this situation, out artillery barraging.
but naturally this is a, a war that we have definitely won. Now as this is negative five, I'm going to wait till my war exhaustion is down to zero and I'm going to go ahead and state up Mittelmark, which is something I, I'm really genuinely looking forward to doing. Uh, Berlin here, the size 30 development, excellent. So it's like a very capital-esque city. We've got a lot of nice high dev cities and um, unfortunately, actually, surprisingly, a lot of that is military development. I'm not pleased to see that actually. Uh, but at least it's gone 11 in uh, production, which is going to be yet another really nice city. Boy, you're kidding me, stupid game. Stop doing this to me. Damn, dude. Frick. F you. The stability is killing me. <sighs> I hate it. 216. Oh my goodness. That, I hate it. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow what an interesting note to end the episode guys this is basically yet another stability hit or effectively destroying our relations with Austria forever and you can see the decision that I made there at the end dun 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 so That's it for this episode, guys. We have a relation slot open. Perhaps we can pull somebody as an ally. I'll have a look around. Italy is just too dense in terms of alliances right now. We we can't ally one of them, but I'm looking over at Brittany. Uh, maybe I want to keep this open for a vassal slot. I'll... Uh, relations are getting there with the Ottomans. So if we could get a claim against Russia, we could release Novgorod. See what I'm saying? Novgorod no longer has core there in that province. Or here, or here, or here. It's because um the war score of Novgorod was so low that he fully annexed them and cancelled his core on some of the provinces. See this? For those of you who don't believe me, well, that's below zero. See this? Well, the thing is, it, it could have timed out, but I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Maybe it did, though. Regardless. The point is that Novgorod's core is not as large as it could be, which makes me feel bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, guys. Look at Om. Om's taken over. There's no doubt about it. Taken over. We're, we're savage. I'm really enjoying this and uh, I hope to continue to take over, but it's rough. This coalition's really making it rough, especially because it's... <laughs> I mean, Austria's in. What, what can I do? I need to make claims against both Poland and Denmark to be able to attack them. Yep. <sighs> we're struggling to make claims, but it's what has to be done to be able to attack them once the truce comes up. That's really important. And same goes for Lebec as well. I want to be able to take Lebec. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode where we continue to slowly push forth uh, and rise through the ranks and become the most powerful nation, taking over Spain in great power status. Feels good, man. See you next time.